Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Morgan. Welcome to my channel. I make all things homemaking, homesteading, and cozy living here on this channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that red subscribe button. Helps me out a ton and it doesn't cost you a thing. Today I'm gonna to be making four recipes of my favorite simmer pots. I've got one back here on the stove right now. They make your house smell absolutely amazing. You can't beat a simmer pot. So. Um, if you're interested in learning my favorite simmer pot recipes for the holidays and there's a little bonus DIY hostess gift at the end here. Um, if you're interested in seeing all that, then stay tuned. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be sharing four of my favorite recipes. Um, this one I have back here is Cozy Christmas, that's what I call it. Um, I will have all of the recipes in the description box, but I'm gonna kinda of just show you a quick little um, gathering of the ingredients of what I put in my simmer pot. So, simmer pots are a great way to make your home smell amazing. Um, a lot of people like to say like, um, like, intentions or prayers into the simmer pot while you make it and it like it's supposed to like you know cleanse your home or whatever so like if you're if you're a burning sage type of person you're really gonna like simmer pots so um i will share my favorite recipes now and not talk to you too much but like i said please subscribe if you haven't already i have a ton of holiday christmasy content coming out so i hope you enjoyed this video so this first one I call Cozy Christmas. It is cranberries, orange slices, these can be fresh or dried, cinnamon sticks, bay leaves, star anise, and apples. I think it's star anise, is that how you pronounce that? I'm not 100% sure. So the first thing you're gonna do is get a big old pot. You can use a tea kettle. I've never used a tea kettle. I always use this big heavy Dutch oven. Um, I will link it if I can find it or a very similar one in the description box. I just add in a bunch of water and then I just start adding my ingredients. So um, the orange slices, cranberries, apples, um, and then all of the little seasonings, star anise, I, th I think that's how you say that, I'm not 100% sure. Cinnamon, bay leaves, apples, all the goodies, just throwing those in there. And like I said, I call this one Cozy Christmas. It really just makes your house smell exactly like Cozy Christmas. So. This is probably the one I do most often in my house, um, and the ingredients are usually a little more inexpensive than some of the other simmer pots you can find on the internet. Cranberries are like a dollar for a big bag of them, so it's affordable, it smells delicious, and it makes your home super cozy. And that is it. You just put that sucker on the stove. Um, I usually start it on medium high and then just when it boils, drop it down to low and simmer all day long. Um, you can keep adding water. I've even kept these overnight, not like boiling overnight, but I turn them off and restart them in the morning. They don't look as pretty, but they smell just as good. The next one is Holiday Host, and this is vanilla extract, apple slices, cinnamon sticks, cranberries, and rosemary. You can use fresh, but I only had dried, um, but this one is really good as well. Super warm. This one is cranberry spice, and this is my husband's. Um, nutmeg, you can either grate it or put it in a hole, it doesn't matter. Um, cranberries, cinnamon sticks, and orange slices. And last is Winter Forest, which is really simple. It is oranges, fir sprigs, and cloves. This, is, I think, is my favorite. I don't know, I love them all, but anything with cloves in it just smells so good. And yes, these are literally just little pieces of branches I cut off the tree in my front yard. <laughs> So for the little DIY gift, um, I just grabbed a mason jar. I would prefer a bigger mason jar. This is just what I had on hand for the video, but grab a mason jar. I like the quilted ones because I think they're prettier. And I just add in the ingredients for whatever one I want to make. Uh, keep in mind, if you are doing this, you want to dry the oranges first. You can dry them in the oven at like a low temperature. It's just, I didn't feel like drying them. I was going to throw them in the pot. Um, so just for the sake of the video, they're fresh, but I would dry those first and grab a bigger mason jar. But just take one of these recipes, put all the ingredients in a little mason jar, and then you can even tie like a little ribbon or a string around with like a little piece of paper that says, 
I don't know, add to a pot, add water, and simmer all day. You could put the little name on there. You could make up your own little name. You could put a picture of your family on the front or whatever you want to do. Just um, get creative with it. And this is a wonderful thing to bring to a hostess um, for a hostess gift if you're going to like Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner or whatever. It's just a really thoughtful little gift that is super inexpensive. So I hope you liked these simmer pot recipes and that little DIY at the end there. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Like I said, it helps me out a ton and doesn't cost you a thing. So I will see you guys in my next video and let me know which simmer pot recipe you think you're going to try first in the comments. Bye. I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me